Now, sleep deprivation is a form of torture. Our health and wellbeing guest today says that insomnia can cause you serious problems and should never be underestimated. Welcome back to the show, New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez. Welcome. Thank you. So tell me first out, what causes insomnia? Stress is probably the number one cause of insomnia. And then there's different types of illnesses. Children, when you have them, <laughs> can I think they cause sleep deprivation for about eight years. <laughs> <laughs> then they're teenagers and they cause it again. They do, don't they? When, they're when, out. You're, waiting, when, when you're waiting for them to come home. Exactly. Yes. So, um, and worry. A, lo a lot of worry can cause it. So how do you know that you actually have insomnia? That's a really good question. So if you're um, having concurrent sleepless nights uh, for around about three nights a week, and that is chronic insomnia right there. Okay, so it's not just like one night of bad sleep. It has to be an ongoing problem for like three, three nights a week. Yeah, and the funny thing is, um, you cannot refill yourself. If you don't get that sleep, you cannot sort of keep going. You actually need to have more sleep somewhere to refill yourself back up. It's so important, isn't it? So who would be the, the most common sufferers? Obviously parents. <laughs> <laughs> parents, um, people that are worried. Uh, you know, financial problems and relationship problems can cause a lot of insomnia. So, and, and some people that have been addicted to taking sleeping pills or medication can cause different types of insomnia as well. And people generally don't tell their doctors, do they? They just think, oh, I'm just not sleeping so well. They don't do anything about it. Well, I think there's a stigma attached um, to taking medication. You know, I always say, look, if you haven't had sleep, go and see your doctor or your psychiatrist, even better, and do get some sleep medication because you need sleep to function. Because you cannot think straight if you don't get that. You get angry, irritated, and the rest. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know that you don't function well when you've not had enough sleep. It's the most important thing, isn't it? You need to drive places, you need to look after people, or, um, or just function in your work, and you actually can't. Yeah. Because sleep helps to refresh the brain and clean the brain. And if you're not getting sleep, then you can't wake up afresh and you know think of new things exactly. and even feel joyful and it can lead to depression okay well that's good to know uh, so you've got some tips here of how we can sort of battle or tips for a good night's sleep that's right okay so if you can, you, if you can imagine the sleep cycle goes in 90 minutes so there's five stages yep. and the first stage first three stages is just dropping down and it feels really nice and then you have your REM sleep which is your dream and your eyes twitch and and then you have a wonderful um, sleep where you're regenerating and to get you there if you're um, into tea you can try lemon valerian tea okay. which is excellent but you need to drink this every day and no caffeine about two and a half hours before sleep because it's terrible and alcohol can ruin REM sleep or your growth and regeneration. Yeah, you get to sleep straight away but then you wake up don't you? That's right. I, I want to know what's in that. I bet you do. Because you're going to make me drink that, aren't you? I am. And Lani's bought a potion in for me, so what is this? So this is uh, valerian, and it's very, very good for sleep, and it's calming. So it won't knock you out or anything like that. So I've, got a, I've got a show to do, honey. I know you do. I can't, I can't be knocked out right now. <laughs> well, just have, just have a little slip, sip. So you can go for the weak stuff, mm. or you can get the valerian from your herbalist or from a health store. Okay. So just have a little smell taste. It's disgusting. It's fine. Oh, that's actually quite tasty. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Lovely bought me something nice to drink. <laughs> I never have this. Ah, yes. Yes. They taste revolting, but they're good for me. Oh, that's lovely. And finally, some more tea here. Yes, so the, um, that, and that is, um, that is the bina. And all of these are nervines, so they just help your body calm down. It's called vagus toning, so yeah. that you can drop down into a good sleep. So just remember, it takes 90 minutes, and about 30 of those is just dropping down into that sleep zone. Excellent. I could probably have a little bit more. Some of that, Valerie. <laughs> hey, Lani, thank you so much. Always wonderful to have you here, and always great advice.